All right, boys and girls, equal opportunity. Let's go get some stele that are broken. Outside the northern gate, the camels groaned. Irritated by the treaders mounting the animals to begin the long journey back to the Ethiopian highlands. Drivers urged the large caravan forward with loud shouts and cracking whips. As I took my place next to my boy, the sun slowly began to rise above the hills. Not far from the gate, we passed a field of great stone stele. Some stood tall, reaching for the sky, but mostly toppled, their pieces scattered over the ground. Father, Daniel asked, looking up at a towering stele. When we entered the city, he told me that these stones marked the graves of ancient kings. Is Dagrajan buried here as well? I shook my head. No, my son. Those kings are long dead, and the body of Dagnajan was never recovered. His two sons were far too busy trying to slay each other. While the Aksumite Empire was divided by civil war, Yodit ordered a fleet to be built. An invading force would cross the Red Sea and strike hard at Musawa, the most important harbor of the Empire. Again, I'm not too sold on us being the good guys here. <laughs> uh, defeat Gitajan by destroying his city, which is just Masawa, so why not just call this Defeat Masawa? I don't know. We have a pot of 150. The hot arid coastline next to the Red Sea holds few resources. Controlling the ancient stele is a good way to show strength and generate income. This is kind of the gimmick of this scenario, and uh, I'll show you, you know, by demonstrating, I guess. Uh, destroying monasteries will allow you to loot some much-needed gold. Going straight for Gidijan is bound to be difficult. It's better to gain the trust of the locals first. So Yorit's force is... Uh, Yorit's task is to force Gidijan, the son of the former emperor Dagnajan, from his land and thus open the way to Aksum. Yorit's Arabian allies are reluctant to actively help her, but locals can be persuaded to join the cause. Gidijan has his troops stationed in Masawa, an important coastal city on the Red Sea. Success will only come if we destroy it. And the Axumite soldiers are, uh, you know, hanging around. Let us seize this land for Yodit. Okie dokie. So we really have very little to work with. Just have some Shotels, four villagers. Sorry, five villagers. Um, we are in Castle Age, though. I definitely recall in the HD version of this scenario, which was also super bugged, if I recall correctly. Um, you were starting in Feudal Age, which is kind of dumb, considering this is the fourth scenario. You know, usually by the fourth scenario, you're starting in at least Castle Age, if not Imperial Age. Oh, whoops. Okay, so this is the whole thing. You can see that uh, you have like these food baskets here. It indicates that these stele are generating food for us. And the more stele we control, the more food we generate. I think. I'm pretty sure that's what we do. I'm like reasonably certain that's how it works. Yeah, visited all the other tribes. And yeah, like all, 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 this is pretty much every. Almost all of them say we'll fight for you once, you know, you visit all the other tribes. Um. And it looks like we're in Feudal Age, but we are in Castle Age, so hopefully we can find some stone pretty soon. Anyway, I'm trying to get over here, um, because I can get some extra troops. Oh, whoops, I, that guy's still in the control group. Our holy temple was destroyed by Gita Jan. 
We will join you so that we can have our revenge. Yay, revenge. I hear it's a dish best served cold or something. Anyway, um, what we can also do is build a dock and make a few fishing ships. There aren't many fish over in, uh, I'm not actually sure what body of water this is. I know that Masawa is in Eritrea, but the Red, like, the Red Sea is, like, to the north, so I guess this is the Indian Ocean? Not too certain. Oh, okay, so I guess we just receive 100 food and tribute every now and then, so it's not, like, a trickle thing, it's just a receive resources in tribute sort of thing. And this one is ostensibly also a food uh, stele. Yeah, I thought the stone was over here. And just continue to scout around. Oh, whoops. Stone will be for a second DC, of course. Do you have a pop limit of 150? And, uh, Hedajan will get to Imperial Age in the not-too-distant future. Also, whatever body of water is to the east, it is not connected to the Red Sea. So... Oh, crap. Well, they're taking that back. They're taking back that, Stele. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Well, this is going significantly more poorly than I would have hoped. Are, are they really going after my villager? What jerks? Maybe we're a little too ambitious. Also, if I recall correctly, Gitajan has a random trebuchet, which can be rather annoying. Wait, no, stop it! Stop it! Jerk! Yeah, we'll just stick with those four fishing ships. Anyway, in this scenario, we're going to try and focus on some Shotels. Because they're going to be fast enough where we can get from Stele to Stele, camp to camp, all that good stuff. The Arbalest siege thing that we did last scenario is going to be a little too slow, I think. God damn it, I forgot they build guard towers. Ninety-nine wood, really? Got ninety-nine wood, but one ain't another wood that I need. Yeah, it didn't work. that didn't work out so well. Wait, did they convert one of my fishing ships? No, they have a ship here, so maybe you can get around. I know that you used to not be able to get around. Because I'm pretty sure they don't have a dock, like, right around here. I think 
Okay, anyway, we're gonna need to rely on our defenses here. The last two scenarios were not difficult, but this one is definitely a little bit of a step up in difficulty. I mean, this is technically a three-sword campaign, and the first scenario isn't all that hard so long as the pathing agrees with you and you, you know, do what I did. But this one and the next one are, I'm not saying like they're the hardest scenarios in the world, but you know, you can't be a complete dum-dum. If they could stop converting my villagers, that'd be real great. Almost with enough stone for the castle. Actually, why am I not... Oh, wait. Why am I not going three TCs? Because I was literally just talking about how I should need to save stone for a castle. I am none too smart sometimes. Oh my god, these monks, man. Oh my god, stop! TC over here. Need some more houses. Butter Castle will be done in a hot second. I'll kill these freaking monks. Oh, I need Bodkin, god damn it. That wasn't gonna be working for you, Mr. Scout. Not too sure what you were thinking on that one. Oh yeah, I need a barracks. For squires and um Arson. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, there's a little island that has a pretty nice sized gold mine on it. It's like right here. There we go. Not an especially great sign, but such is life. Just send those guys over when- oh, that's a big army. What? Where are you guys going? 
Oh yeah, I should get royal hairs. And no murder holes. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oops, need six. Um, this is getting rather annoying. It's not be dumb. Like, that's an annoying hill that we're going to need to take. Hopefully things will start get e getting easier once we get a real army and can start taking back these stele. No, attack the frickin' tower. Woo! Howdy ho, boys! Honestly, this is good for us. Because it means we're not fighting those guys uphill. They're just walking into our TCs and stuff. Like, yeah, we're gonna lose some bills, but... It's easier than the other way around. Are we good? Now things are starting to look up. Really? Are you guys really stuck? Kill the goddamn tower. I may, I may switch over to Arbalusts once we actually go for Masawa. But for now, I'm liking the Shotel idea. Whoops, that wasn't the right one. This is the right one. Okay, you stay there. You're there. Let's go take this monastery for some gold. Go full Viking style. Wait, are you seriously trying to convert more villagers? Do you have nothing better to do with your life than convert my villagers? Oh, do I have a corgi scratching at my door? Why, hello, Dash. And of course, I've lost most of my show tells. That'll learn them. Okay. Finally starting to stabilize. 
Oh yeah, imp. That sounds like a good idea. No, not the goddamn house. At least with uh, Shotels, you don't need a bunch of castles to make a bunch of them. I mean, you just need, uh... You just need the one, and Royal Airs, preferably. You can get plenty of Shotels. Okay, I think we get a thousand gold or something. Indeed. Seriously. No. Okay. Oh yeah, what I wanted to do, just get a couple stables, just to uh, get some scouts, because Shotels don't have a very good line of sight. Ah! Stop! You guys... Well, that's very, very nice of you, Arabian allies. Oh, damn. Purple's coming back, too. What Ara what helpful Arabian allies. Just get a couple scouts, see where some of the more stele are that are preferably less well guarded. Um Sure. Now I have full upgrades on my showtels. At least elite showtels have one pierce armor. Oh, whoops. The problem is, this is the sort of scenario that you'd like to have a good knight sieve. Because you want a fast and durable army. And that's not what Ethiopians do. They make glass cannons. Not really the uh, spread around the map sort of thing. Oh, I heard the... Oh, I think that's just because we got control of a stele? Something. Okay, there's another monastery. Wait, what? Go to work! Oh, there's some more gold. Nice. That's a trade workshop. Oh, now Dash wants out. 
First he wants in, and then he wants out. Well, are you going, Dash? Now you're, now you're just walking back in. <sighs> Make up your mind, dog. Wait. Oh, crap. Oh wait, no. I need uh, murder holes. That's what I need. Okay, back to doing the thing. Oh wait, what? What I think happens is that Gidajan sends the troops over, and then once they take the stele, they get converted to purple. Because I don't think purple, like, trains any more units. Okay, if I'm done being attacked for, like, ten seconds. What are you doing, Dash? Oh, you have your bone. Or what's left of it. Okay, that should get us another thousand of gold. Not that we really need it. Honestly, I should really be switching over into uh, Arbalests and Siege and stuff. Nope. Yeah, see, I think those units all just switched over to purple. Yeah, this one's a lot more hectic than I remember. There's so much wood. We even got two man saw. Oh, here's a stone stele. I don't think anything else would be over here now. It, like, yeah, like I was saying, the scenarios would be much easier if we had a ci civilization that was better suited to this sort of thing. Like, if this, like, if we were Huns, like, this scenario would be easy peasy. Okay, get that, get our last thousand gold. Didn't I see some stones somewhere? Not that stone stele. Oh yeah, here's some stone. Perfect. And we're moving up in the world. Just need to visit one more village. Oh, you guys need to come home. I guess this is gold. Oh. 
Get some swork shops. Oh, here's another steel, eh? There we go. Where's the last village? Oh, everyone died. That's awesome. Say this objective's complete. That's weird. Okay. Let's also just grab guilds. That was not. Let's not go overboard just yet. Okay. Um. I mean, that's another gold stele. I guess this is a wood stele. These guys do not stop attacking you. Of course, wood is minimum. At least we can get another castle. Where is this last goddamn village? Maybe it's like right over here? The local tribes pledged their allegiance to Queen Yodik. Use these men as you please. Um, really? I remember we got a bunch of Shotel warriors, but I thought they were fully upgraded. Wait, Ethiopian rebels? Oh, I guess all of the, uh, all of the local tribes then become Ethiopian rebels and they just patrol towards the enemy? Oh, they have demo ships. Gotta watch out for that. Okay, now we take Masawa. Hope no more demos come in and ruin my day. Those. That wasn't a great Maganel hit for us. Hmm. 
Gold is definitely a bit of an issue. Trebuchet somewhere. Oh man, that corgi wants out again. Go, scoot. All right, back to theoretically winning. Very theoretically. See that Masawa isn't really super well fortified, but they have a huge army. Navy. Wait, why do I have a trebuchet all the way over here? Holy crap, man. The problem is, they're definitely not short on gold. Uh, they're not infinite resources. I'm, I think they just have a big old gold mine in their village. But Shotel, like, Arbalest plus C doesn't really have a good trash counter, if you know what I mean. Some towers up or something. Where's my university? Here it is. It's not like skirms would help us a ton. Light cab certainly wouldn't. These guys are expensive. 50 35. Not so cheap for an infantry. Oh my god, there's even more gold over there. I'm such an idiot. Oh. Oh. 
Heated shot, do your thing. Oh, yeah. Look how good heated shot is. Oh, really? Lame. Okay, now we have that gold mine up. That should help us a lot. Didn't I have a stone steal? I do. I guess it just doesn't give me very much. These keeps are definitely helping out. Because if our army's a glass cannon, so is theirs. Things are looking much better now. Even if we don't have a very big army, we have this nice position with the keeps. And we have more gold income, which is just as important. Kind of weird, because they only have palisade walls, well, I guess two layers of palisade wall, and they just have a bajillion keeps. Yeah, now we have a nice arbalest mass, and we're just able to snipe all their units as they spawn. Galleons aren't a problem anymore, thanks to our heated shots. they just have the one castle. They might have a more, another town center, but pretty sure it's just the one castle. Looks like they do have another town center over here or somewhere.
I think there's a difference there. I remember in HD, it's like you had to destroy Masawa's market town center and castle, I think. Now they just simplified it to just, you know, defeat the bad guy. Resigning soon, hopefully. Yeah, man, that's a lot of keeps. Yeah, especially here, like the ships were really annoying. But I got these. Even just getting these four keeps just really helped solidify our position because Ethiopians, like I've been saying with that glass cannon army, it's really hard to like maintain a position. At least not without stone defenses. And Ethiopian defenses are at least all right. You know, middling B, I would say. Uh, they have keeps, but no arrow slits. They have architecture, but no hoardings. They have fortified wall. You know, it's all right. Not amazing. Okay, but seriously, like, why are these guys not resigning? Do they really have... Like a ton more over here. Yeah, siege workshop. Is it the ships? Might be the ships. Come on. There's nothing left of the city. Just some towers and docks. There we go. The road to Aksum lies open. Definitely a lot harder than I remembered, but, uh, you know, we got her done. We got her done. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, now you can't access all the way around. Interesting. So I guess we could have gone for a more heavily naval approach, but I'm... Wait a minute, we do have gunpowder. I remember we were able to get bombard cannons. Wait. But we're in the, the 10th century. Ah, whatever. Whatever. Uzogidejan had managed to kill his brother, take the throne in the lead. He had also lost enough to your deed. Soon she would advance to the capital for the final battle. Before I could dispel Daniel's youthful naivety about warfare, shouts arose from the front of the caravan to stop for the night. Well, uh, yeah, that was that was quite the bloody one, that's for sure. You can see they had way more gold than us. I think they also had like 150 pop limit too. That was tricky. Anyway, that was Broken Steelite, and next will be the finale for Yodit. Welcome home. See you guys next time.